tell you something else here. There's more gay people in Wyoming than meets the eye. I know, I know for a fact. Now, they're not exactly the, what you call them, the, the queens, you know, gay, queens, gay people, you know, run around faggot type people. No, they're the ones throwing hail, bay, throwing on the horses, jumping on the brand and kicking ass. But as I always say, don't fuck with a Wyoming queer because they will kick you in your ass. But that's not the point of what I'm trying to say. Now, I know a lot of gay people in Wyoming. I, I know a lot of people, period. I've been living up here some 40 odd years. But I just don't think Wyoming people give a damn one way or another if you're gay or straight. You know, I'm, that's just what I'm saying. I just don't think it matters. If there are eight um, men and one woman in a Wyoming bar, which is often the case, you just have to stop and think who's getting what? You see what I'm saying? Now, it don't take a big intelligent mind to figure that one out. My understanding when I first came here, Catherine Conley, is that I was the first out lesbian or gay faculty member on campus. And that was in like 1992, so it really wasn't that long ago. Um, I was asked in my interview what my husband did, so that's when I came out. You wanna hear a funny story? When you first get here as a new faculty member, there's all these things you have to do. So I was in my office and I noticed that this woman called. I was expecting, you know, health insurance phone call, something like that. So I called her back. And I could hear her. She's clicking away. And I said, you know, this is Kathy Connolly returning your phone call. She said, oh, it's you. And I thought, well, well this is bizarre. And then she said, I hear, I hear, I, I hear you're gay. I hear you are. And I said, uh-huh. And then she said, I hear you came as a couple. I'm one too, not, not a couple, just a person. And so she was the type of lesbian who knew I was coming and wanted to meet me immediately. Later she told me that there would be other lesbians there who wouldn't be seen with me, that I would irreparably taint them. That, that just to be seen with me would be a problem. When I came here, I knew it was going to be hard as a gay man. Jonas Slotiger. But I kept telling myself, people should live where they want to live, you know? And there would be times when I would go down to Denver and I would go to gay bars and people would ask me where I was from and I'd say, Laramie, Wyoming. And I met so many men down there from Wyoming. So many gay men who grew up here and then left. They said, that is not a place where I can live. How can we live there? I have to get out. But every once in a while, there will be a guy. Oh gosh, I miss Laramie. That's where I want to live. And they get this starry-eyed look, and I'm like, if that's where you want to live, then do it. I mean, imagine if more gay people lived in small towns, but it's easier said than done, of course. 